kids, welcome back to our series, Forgiveness. We're learning about one of the most important elements of the life of every Christian. Forgiveness! Last time, we learned what to do when we need forgiveness from others. Today, we're going to learn another important lesson. Have you ever done something wrong and asked for forgiveness, but then continue to feel bad about what you did? Sometimes, we have a hard time forgiving ourselves for things we have done in the past. Have you ever dealt with that? We're going to talk about that in our lesson today. But First, I want you to watch this awesome video. Hey there, my name is Ashton, and welcome back to this series called Forgiveness. This is never going to stop, is it? No, it's not. Today, we are learning from the question, how do I forgive myself? That's kind of a confusing question. What does that really mean? I forgive you. No, I forgive you. No, I forgive you. No, I forgive you. No, I forgive you. I'm really glad we're talking about this today. I think I really need to hear this lesson. You may remember last time I told you about something terrible I had done, but then I learned that God has forgiven me and that I don't have to feel guilty or ashamed anymore. But I kind of still do. I know that what I did was wrong and I just feel so terrible about it. Maybe you're like me. You have all these feelings of guilt and shame. You know God has forgiven you, but you still just feel so awful about it. And these terrible feelings just keep weighing you down. And you just want them to go away. You just want to be free. I'm free! I was reading in my Bible the other day about a guy named Saul. He did some pretty terrible things too. If you think you've messed up, just wait until you hear this guy's story. I don't want to spoil it for you, but Man, he did some pretty crazy stuff. In your lesson today, you are going to learn how you can accept God's forgiveness and learn to forgive yourself. It's going to be an amazing lesson. Until next time, this is Ashton. See ya! Sometimes we let guilt and shame weigh us down. And there's a big word in the Bible that talks about that. Condemnation. Can you say that with me? Condemnation. Condemnation is when feelings of guilt and shame won't leave us alone. When we are filled with condemnation, we constantly feel like we are not good enough and that God can't use us. That is exactly what you're going to learn all about in your lesson today. You are going to learn that God has forgiven you so that you should forgive yourself. But right now, let's check in with Wiggy Pop. He's going to teach you what you got to know. 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 Kids, my name is Wiggy, Wiggy Pop, and I'm here to have a rocking time telling you what you gotta know. Today, we are answering the question, can I ever forgive myself? So every time today that you hear someone ask you what you gotta know, you tell them this, I will choose to forgive myself. Will you please forgive me, Wiggy? No! Come on, pretty please! Not a chance! <laughs> but God says we can't condemn ourselves just because we've messed up. If God has forgiven us, then we must forgive ourselves. So every time today that you hear someone ask you what you gotta know, you tell them this, I will choose to forgive myself. And that right there, is what you gotta know. My name is Wiggy Pop, and I'll see you next time. Rock on! <laughs> Today's Bible story is found in the book of Acts, chapter 9. 
It's about a young man named Saul. Saul was a very mean man. Saul was the enemy to a lot of Christians. He traveled from city to city, arresting Christians and putting them into prison. He even had some Christians put to death. He was full of anger and hatred for God's people. One day, Saul was traveling down the road towards a city called Damascus. When suddenly a bright light shone right in front of him, it startled him so much that it knocked him to the ground. A voice began to speak to him, and from inside that bright light, it said, "Saul, I am Jesus. I am the one you are persecuting. Get up and go to the city, and I will tell you what to do." So Saul he got up, but he realized he was blind. He couldn't see a Thing. He had some men help him to Damascus, where he met a man named Ananias. God had told Ananias to go find Saul, lay hands on him, so that way he could be healed. God told Ananias that Saul was going to become one of the biggest preachers in the whole wide world. Ananias went to Saul, laid his hands on him. And healed him. Saul could now see. Eventually, Saul became known as Paul. He stopped sinning and persecuting Christians. Instead, he began to preach and teach about Jesus all over the world. Paul planted churches all over the world and became one of the most powerful missionaries the world has ever known. How could this man? Who was known as a Christian killer, leave all of that behind and become a missionary? How could he live with himself, knowing that all he had done in the past? Well, it's because Paul understood what we are going to learn about in our lesson today. Paul understood that when God forgives you, you are totally and completely forgiven. Today we are going to learn that we must forgive ourselves and not live under condemnation. If God can forgive Saul and change his life in such an amazing way, there is no doubt that He can do the same for you and for me. And if God forgives us, we must learn to also forgive ourselves. <laughs> What you gotta know? Forgiveness is a very powerful thing. We have learned that forgiving others sets them free from the prison that we had them locked up in our minds. Forgiving others is a command from God. Forgiveness is a powerful thing. We have learned that God wanted to forgive us of our sins so badly. That he sent his son, Jesus, to die on a cross and pay the penalty for our sins. God forgives us when we ask. Isn't that wonderful? So why do we sometimes have a hard time forgiving ourselves? Why do we choose to allow feelings of guilt and shame to keep us from becoming everything God wanted us to become? I want to share with you a couple of things from God's word that will help you forgive yourself. Kids, I want you to say with me. Everyone has sinned. For some reason, we have a tendency to feel like we are the only ones who have ever done anything wrong. We think that our sin is somehow worse than the other people's sin, but that's not true. Romans three twenty three says, "For everyone has sinned. We all, you see that all, we all fall short of God's glorious standard." Even though Saul. From our Bible story, had gone around killing Christians. God forgave his sin, just like He forgives the person who told the light to get out of trouble. All sin is wrong. Everyone has sinned. Don't think that your sin is worse than others, because sin is sin. Not only that, but kids, say with me: God forgives all sin. God didn't have a harder time forgiving Saul's sin than He did forgiving someone else's. He also doesn't have a harder time forgiving your sin. God forgives all sin. When you confess it, He forgives us. So why do you think it is hard for you to forgive yourself? Well, it's because of something the Bible calls condemnation. 
This right here is going to represent condemnation. And condemnation is when you feel guilty over the sins that have already been forgiven by God. You see, Saul could have easily allowed himself to feel worthless for the rest of his life, even though God had forgiven his sins. You see, to God, it was no longer there. But Saul, he could have decided that he needed to punish himself and feel guilty for the rest of his life because of the horrible things he had done. But our power verse says, so now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Do you know who wrote those words that are now in the Bible? It was Saul, also known as the Apostle Paul. You see, he knew this to be true. He had forgiven himself, and he did not allow condemnation to rule his life. So how can I ever forgive myself? It's really simple. You must leave condemnation behind. Condemnation has no place in the life of a Christian. So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. That is plain and simple. So the next time the devil tries to condemn you and make you feel guilty over all the things you have done in the past that God has already forgiven you for, you just tell him, not today, Satan. I'm leaving condemnation behind. Then you just walk away from that condemnation. Nope. So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Kids, have you ever had a feeling of guilt for a past sin that God has already forgiven you for? We're going to pray. And I want you guys to learn how to walk away from condemnation, how to leave behind the guilt, how to leave behind all of those feelings that Jesus has already forgiven you of. So if you have sin that you're feeling guilty of, if there's things that you have done that you're feeling bad for, I want you to say this prayer with me. Can everybody stand up right now? Stand up right where you are. If you have sin, and you want God's forgiveness, say this with me. Say, Dear Lord, I pray that you will forgive me. Help me, God, to leave my condemnation and to turn to you. I accept your forgiveness and I ask Jesus to come into my heart and to set me free. I love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Oh, please hold the applause. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I am the actor, and I'm here to teach you today's power verse. And if you want to be a great method actor like myself, you must know the power verse. So let's get to it. Today's power verse says, So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Romans 8.1 what a stupendous power verse! But if there's anything I've ever learned, it's that you'll never forget your lines, or the power verse in this instance, if you say it completely in character. So to help us, let's select today's character from the character box. Ah yes, today's character is a doctor with three big toes. Interesting. Quite odd. And I'm acting! <laughs> Thank you! Okay, no, today's character is actually an ant. And I don't mean an ant like your loud Aunt Becky. No, I mean an ant like the little tiny bug. So I want you to get a little squeaky voice and stand up with me on the count of three and say today's power verse. One, two, three. 
So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Romans 8, 1. Acting, thank you. Wow, that was fantastic. Well, I'll see you later, boys and girls. Exit, stage left. Wow! 